Hey, good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us. If you're new to the channel, we're building the house and putting everything on video and uh, especially for our family, but we'd welcome you to join our journey and watch our videos. We really appreciate it. It's kind of fun making videos. I now have a hobby. So uh, anyways, here's an update. It's Wednesday morning. It is the eve of the poor. So we had 20 braces come yesterday. Owen brought 20 braces so you can see them behind me and uh things are going great he's going to come back about noon with 35 more braces and we'll finish braces over here and up in the garage and uh, it's going great like i said it's poor eve i uh, had a lot of rain yesterday uh sun's out 20 percent chance today and 20 percent tomorrow so this pour is going to happen we've been uh waiting a long time and it's great and it's going great life is great god is good and everything is going good so uh, i'll turn you around and give you an update and then when owen gets here i'll uh, show you more about the braces okay we started in this corner the southeast corner and we got 20 braces up and i do not have them we have to put a concrete stake there in that foot so i got 19 concrete stakes to put in but uh they have threads on them so then we can plumb the wall i need to get walk planks on there i'll do that while uh we're waiting on owen to get back with the other 35 braces uh since our last video we put some wood around the windows um, to make sure the foam was flush with the window buck. And uh, we got that done. And just some general other things. I put in two more sleeves over here for uh, my boiler, heater, uh, exhaust, and air intake. Uh, if you've got a fire, you gotta have a little air with it. So oxygen. So uh, I'm just doing miscellaneous stuff. I'll get some walk planks up there here while we're waiting. And then, uh, oh yeah, we got, uh, we went ahead and bought two loads of gravel yesterday to top off a little bit of the driveway. It's just so rough with that pit run, homemade pit run. And uh, I wanted to get a little start on the smooth out. So I smoothed that out with the Kubota yesterday. And uh, every month, maybe we'll buy a load or two just to kind of um, touch up the driveway. And with the the big rocks, it's just hard to get it really nice and smooth driveway. So, but we got an awesome base. So uh, these kind of rocks here are in the driveway, and uh, it's not the funnest driveway, but it's a beautiful driveway when it's do it yourself. So, uh, anyways, I will get back to work and catch up with you later. Got more braces on. Be very very quiet. He's really busy working. Concentrating. I don't want to disturb him. Okay, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the braces uh to be honest with you the concrete wall is already poured but we'll make a video of that next i started a bracing video and then we just got so busy it it's impossible to video enough so uh, my last ep uh, snippet was owen putting braces on and uh i'll turn you around here and explain the braces and then we'll get this video out for friday Today is Thursday, we did pour, so uh, everything went great. It was very exhausting, but uh, I'll talk about braces now and then get you out of here for the evening. So, uh, a lot of my videos, like, hey, we're needing braces, so we got the braces, uh, half on Tuesday and half on Wednesday, and we poured on Thursday. So we set them up, Owen and I, yesterday, Wednesday. So let me just explain this real quick. It's a three-part system, which, 
some people probably don't like. I think there's another company or two that makes them uh, one part, but I actually liked it. It was easy to haul around. Uh, you don't need a big truck or a big uh, box to haul them in. So the first part, I call this a stick back. After 30 years of concrete, that's what we call this. It's a stiff piece of iron, 10 foot tall. We got nine foot walls, it sticks up 10 foot and it screws to the ICF every row. Right there's a screw, there's a screw. So we screw it into these studs. We told you about uh, video back a little bit. Uh, so you really don't even need to plumb it because the studs are plumb, plastic studs. Screw it to every one. So you go around and do that and they go every six foot. So there's one, six foot over here is one. And then every common seam has one. Six foot over there is one, blah, blah, blah. About three to four feet from the corner. Uh, so you get all them done, you do it in stages. Then you come around, and I don't know the proper name for these, you put these triangles on. And they're the next piece. And they slide down in this slot, two slots. They slide right down, they go very easy. So easy a fifth grader could do it. So then the third and final piece is this red, uh, I call it a turnbuckle. So you hold this turnbuckle up parallel with the triangle piece and it slits and it fits in its own slot right here. And then when you put it down at a 45 degree, it locks in. So then you get the wall pretty close to plumb and you put a concrete stake in that hole with a nail and then see there's threads here and threads up here and you can, then you can turn it plumb. So then you can put a string on your wall, which is conventional type. And uh, so the triangle piece acts as the catwalk. So then you put boards up here on the triangle piece and you screw, put some screws down in the boards. So it's safety and we're less than six foot. So we don't need a handrail. We know what we're doing. And with my cat like reflexes, if I started to fall, I just jump off. So anyways, that is the end of the bracing system. And, uh, We'll leave these up 24 hours. They can come down, but I'm probably gonna leave mine up a couple days because I have to put a two inch height adjuster on there and a unassembled 18 inch form on the outside for my light deck. So I might use the braces while I got them here this weekend and try to get that done. So we just really appreciate everybody watching. Hope that kind of shows you braces. We got along great with them and uh, Please subscribe if you haven't, and we'll catch you on the next one. Leave us a comment so we know some people are watching, and we really appreciate you following us on our journey to build a concrete home. So uh, thanks a lot, everybody. Have a good one.